But I do want to talk about the Rams because the Rams made a, a late free agency splash yesterday. Hamilton and I texted about it uh, in between texts about, um, uh, oh my gosh, Hamilton, help me, the haircut. Whose haircut did I send you? Oh, uh, Dan Campbell. Dan Campbell's yeah. hair. Dan Campbell's haircut is a wow, is a wow for me. Uh, we'll, get, we'll get into that tomorrow, of course, on the show. But the Rams, they add Bill's all-pro corner to Davius White. And it's always fascinating. And Hamilton and I are like, what are, are the Rams good? Were they better? You know, they impressed us so much last year. What McVay was, I saw them, they were in Vegas. They were all sitting courtside for Nadal and Alcaraz. And they're all so close. And there's this thing. And now White's there on a one-year deal. Interesting offseason, as it always is. Then they retire Aaron Donald. Can they do this? Can they, you know, how can you replace that kind of a guy. They revamped their secondary. They land Lions Pro Bowl guard Jonah Jackson. They help the O-line. Even without Donald, there's a lot of talent across the board. And then are always around draft time, it's like, what is this going to look like? Um, and here's a reminder, guys, as you take a look at, at all the talent here. LA won of seven to, of their last eight to end the regular season. Best record in the league over that span. One loss was the overtime thriller against the Ravens with that punt return touch. And I don't think that team we saw down the stretch was going to magically disappear, OK? I, I, I think they're going to pick up and do their thing. McVeigh, new dad, he's not, like, got it figured out now. Maybe he's sleeping a little bit more over the offseason. Like, I don't know. I think he's found some things. This is, a, this is a nice little group here. The big four on the offense, Stafford, Cup, Puka, Kyron, who we put, we love Kyron, of course. I mean, I feel like they stack up against anybody. The real team, we don't know what the heck the Seahawks are doing. This team I'm into. The roster's in good shape. And, and it has a chance to get a lot better. When I talk about the draft, they've got 11 picks in this year's draft. And supposedly... This is the first time in Sean McVay's eight seasons that they will be making a first-round pick. They pick 19th overall this year. Hard to imagine they don't use it on the defensive front when they lose Donald. Whatever route they go, I mean, McVay and Snead, they get Puka, they get Kyron. Like, I'm just fascinated with what they do probably. I don't even want to see their first-rounder. Um, but I did hear something very funny, uh, Hamilton. You can wrap it up here for me about uh, what's in. They ask Andrew Whitworth to come out and do the first-rounder or second-rounder. What do they do? Yeah, they, they asked Whitworth um, to come to Detroit to announce the Rams' second-round pick, and he told Les Snead, he's like, I'm, I'm not doing it. I have no faith that you're actually going to stick with that pick and stay there, <laughs> and I might just fly to Detroit for nothing, so I'd rather just pass and not go at all. Um, amazing. Okay, we're going to take a short break here. I mean, we'll see. We'll see if McVay trades back. If the, Whatever they do, I'm fascinated. I'm all in on Les Snead. They just make everything more fun because I like the zigging and zagging that they do. 